This abundance of food is a boon for many animals, like the Galapagos penguin, the most northerly species of penguin on the planet. The geographic location of the Galapagos Islands isn't an ideal habitat for penguins, but they've been able to adapt to the tropical climate thanks to the cold ocean currents that bathe the archipelago. To escape the heat, Galapagos penguins spend most of their time in the water and only return to land at sundown. But an increasingly frequent climatic anomaly is threatening the survival of these penguins endemic to the Galapagos, El Nino. Normally, the tropical trade winds blow the warm surface waters out to sea, creating a vacuum filled by the upwelling of these cold, nutrient-rich waters from the depths. In El Nino years, the trade winds weaken. The masses of warmer water that accumulate in the western part of the South Pacific travel east, blocking the upwelling of the cold ocean currents all along the coast. The coastal waters heat up even more and cannot support nutrients. The great schools of fish, such as anchovies and sardines, migrate further out to sea, leaving species that depend on them for food to go hungry. Two major El Nino events in 1982 and 1997 caused a famine among the penguins of the Galapagos. In 1982, El Nino wiped out 77% of the population. Only 463 penguins remained on the Galapagos. 15 years later, in 1997, another extreme El Nino struck hard. That year, 66% of the already diminished population starved to death from lack of food within reach of the archipelago. Today, Galapagos penguin numbers have stabilized at around 2,000 individuals. However, the high mortality rate associated with El Nino means that this weather event is a major and ongoing threat to the survival of this vulnerable species.